18 different outdoor farm, uh, flu clinics, 18 of them so far, and uh, and uh, and that how we actually came to know that there are so many different communities living in in South Australia in different parts of Adelaide that uh, they are not getting much funded by uh, by the government uh, because they may be isolated, maybe vulnerable, or maybe new, and 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 we were quite satisfied that. Uh, We've met some Brazilian community, some Colombian community, some Armenian speaking community um, and uh, different multicultural uh, community and, and quite a number of refugees. refugees we, we came yeah. to know that uh, they are living in Adelaide and uh, they probably not aware about pharmacist role, what pharmacist role is, uh, especially uh, in this country because they are new in this country. and and. What, what their perception is that if they're not feeling well, they need to go to the emergency, to the hospital. They, they, they think that, oh, if that's not available, then maybe, I don't know, which GP I need to go. So we, we're actually talking to them that, look, these minor elements, even the vaccination that I'm providing, I'm a trained pharmacist, so I need to show off that I'm a trained pharmacist. I can help them with the vaccination. I can help with these four vaccination that we allowed in South Australia. And also, there are a lot of things that we can do. The challenges that we faced after the um, lockdown was put in South Australia, that when the doctors shut their surgeries, um, like physical um, presence to the surgery for the patients, I think it put about 10 to 20 percent more um, like that impacted our staff because the way they were, the doctors were communicating to our staff was through either through the fax, through the emails, or um, the girls were themselves going and pick up the uh, prescriptions. So that put a lot of pressure on our staff, but uh, we just, I think we just um, were onto, onto it. Yeah. Probably we supported is... the staff a lot. The first and foremost uh, thing in that regard was educating the staff. So a couple of staff that had booked their holidays six months before, um, they were not aware of the um, scenario, what's going to happen if they were to visit Queensland and then come back to South Australia, what effect it's going to have on the, on the existing staff who was working, especially the pharmacist, um, I should highlight the pharmacist who are working with us, he was um, smart enough to um, vigil that danger and he actually, there was no guidelines from the pharmacy board or COVID safe plan wasn't in place at that time, but he recommended the staff to sit at home, although she was disp dispensary assistant and he, and he was the one who was going to obviously be doing more than what he's normally doing. Yeah.